Welcome back to your channel, it's Dr. Samji. Back by popular request, it's my skincare reaction videos from celebrities. This time it's Sydney Sweeney, um, who is everything right now. And she's gonna be talking to us about her nighttime skincare routine. And I'm gonna be commenting on what's good, what maybe can be improved, or what maybe she can add later on as well. So it's a nighttime routine, like I said, it's Sydney Sweeney. Okay, so first I'll... So like any good skincare routine, she's putting her hair back. It's really important to get hair out of the way when you're washing. I feel like I made a terrible decision, but it's okay, they're cute. I'm just like... She's putting little clips out to get the small strands out of the way, which again is a good thing. Good facial cleanser that works. So she's starting with cleansing, which is great. I always went through either exfoliating way too much or uh, I ended up just washing my face with water for many years because I kept breaking out and I felt like it was the cleanser and it wasn't. It was just other products that I was using. And I finally found a facial cleanser that is incredible for me. So she's learned that maybe washing your face with just water is not a good thing. She's the Laneige cream skin milk oil. This is a water-based uh, cleanser um, that's great again for skin barriers. So a lot of celebrities seem, because they wear a lot of makeup that essentially damages the skin barrier, they don't want to over cleanse the skin. So you want to use something with nice oils in there. This has got jojoba seed oil in it, meadow foam seed oil in it, um, also nice triglycerides um, and things that will just help with the skin barrier. So, you know, there's nothing really terrible here. Again, it's not going to like really get rid of absolutely everything. Um, just looking at the formulation, it probably you probably need a double cleanse to get rid of a full face of makeup, but it's not gonna damage the skin and that's the main thing. Um, so I actually put it on my face. So she's managing to take off all her makeup off with it, which is fantastic. So let's see what her cleansing routine is. One, so one or two pumps. Pumps. Okay, pretty cool. And then... And then she's moisturizing. Again, you know, she hasn't washed her hands beforehand. Um, it's always important to wash your hands before you wash your face. And then I just kept doing it and it worked. So I hope I'm doing that right. You guys will definitely let me know if I'm wrong doing this. <laughs> and then I use some warm water to take it off. So, so obviously she's cleansed her face, but she hasn't cleansed the neck. Cleansing the neck behind the ears and in front of the ears um, is really, really important. And sometimes just into the hairline as well. Someone told me that you should always pat your face. Yep, she's patting her face, which is great. Not rubbing the face, which is really important. Um, she's using a facial towel. It's just important to make sure that that facial towel is clean, that other people haven't dried their hands with it, because then you'll be transferring bacteria. The best thing to use is always facial tissue. I'm no skincare expert though. <laughs> I learned most of my skincare from multiple different makeup artists or sets that I worked on. Growing up, I definitely didn't even know skincare was an important thing. And then I, whenever I have eye makeup on, I do this thing and I don't know if it works or if it's right, but I use Vaseline to take- She uses Vaseline to take the rest of her eye makeup off. That's an interesting one. So she uses Vaseline to take off her, her makeup. This is not gonna help take off your makeup. It might help keep it in because it's a barrier. So um, just washing off the Vaseline um, will probably mean that you're washing everything else off quite well. So it may make her feel like she's actually washing it off a lot more. There's no evidence to show that uh, putting Vaseline on eyelashes and eyebrows helps grow it. It just gives you a little bit of a cover on the, on the, hair, fo on the hair follicles, on the hair shaft giving you the illusion that it's a little bit thicker, but it's not actually going to thicken the hair. Um, so um, that's not necessarily true, but it can make things feel quite nice. And especially if you've got dry, sensitive skin around the eyes and you suffer from something called periocular dermatitis, then applying Vaseline over that area can help the skin barrier repair. So especially if you've got dry, sensitive skin. On the other hand, 
you have to be careful with putting Vaseline around the eye area because where it blocks, a, it, it forms a protective film that blocks the skin, you can be at risk of getting things like melia, which are little milk spots around that area as well, um, which essentially is a consequence of too much occlusive things going around that area, particularly Vaseline. With Vaseline, oh, wow. and I don't know if it worked or not, but I realized it helped to take my eye makeup off really gently. So I'm gonna grab a little white. So what are you gonna take like, this off from? Like harsh rubbing of eye makeup. Okay. So that's not gonna, you want to use a cleanser to take the eye makeup off, um, not this. But Vaseline, as you've seen from some of my like TikTok videos and Instagram videos, it's quite versatile. But she said she has had sensitive eyes, so maybe it's not bad to put a thin layer of it on. Um, but maybe after she's thoroughly cleansed it rather than using it to cleanse. Uh, usually once a week, I try to... Once a week she does a facial peel. It'll be interesting with sensitive skin, which facial peel she, she uses. Oily, dry, I get some acne, and if there's a lot of buildup on my face, I will break out more. So I will use this... I'm going to pronounce it wrong because I pronounce everything wrong, but... Dr. Dennis. So she uses the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Pill. So there's obviously two parts to this. First one obviously exfoliates, you wait two minutes, and then there's a neutralizer. So there's a nice daily pill to use just to make sure that you're doing a chemical exfoliant. It's much better than the physical exfoliant, and she's applying it in a very even fashion. Use it until it feels like it's dry all the way. It's slightly, one thing that she could really do is definitely start thinking about her neck because she's really young. She doesn't think about anything happening on her neck, but she really should start thinking about it. My mouth and my nose, and I cannot get them to go away for the life of me. I was getting them a lot during Euphoria, and I don't know if it was just because I was constantly wearing makeup and changing makeup, and um, or the weather was changing, but that was happening. And I started using these and it helped it uh, go away. I... So she's saying that she's getting weird rashes around the mouth or nose area. So that's either some con contact dermatitis or it's perioral dermatitis, dermatitis. That could be certainly related to using a lot of makeup that she uses obviously in Euphoria on the sets. Um, a lot of the metal compounds would make up irritate the skin and she's got dry sensitive skin. Um, so for her to use sort of an alpha beta daily pill, that can sometimes be a bit harsh. You could probably switch down to using something mandelic acid based, which will help her uh, build that skin barrier um, and make sure that uh, she doesn't get sensitivity around that area. And she talks about using Vaseline. Actually, this is an area where Vaseline actually might be quite helpful for her. For the life of me, I was getting them a lot during euphoria. Certainly rubbing acid into compromised skin is not a good idea. I've been changing makeup and... Um, and also, one thing with makeup artists is changing your brushes, using new brushes. I mean, I treat so many celebrity patients, and one of the things that I tell them when they come in with bad skin is buy your own brushes, buy your own pads, so you're not transferring bacteria from someone else onto you. I can't keep my eyes open. Number one rule I have always followed is never sleep with your makeup on, so. That's a great thing that she's saying, never sleep with makeup on. It's a number one rule. <laughs> Some people will still do it, my wife does it but not everyone gets away with it. Down. This is, if you see my lovely robe, I would like to say thank you Jennifer Coolidge because she actually, when we were in Hawaii, she gave it to me for Valentine's Day. Um, it's my favorite robe. <laughs> so, free Jennifer Coolidge robe. <laughs> uh, okay, so then the second towel that is the, the anti-aging one. We shall see in 10 years if it works. <laughs> Okay, so you let that dry for a little bit. And then I always love using Laneige. So it's really important that she hydrates after using a, um, a pill. Um, so she's using HA, hyaluronic acid. It's gonna seed um, moisture within the skin. I wanna see whether, because she's got compromised skin, whether she adds anything for the skin barrier after that. And that's gonna be really important. 
She talks about how her skin's really dry. These are all indications, combination skin that she's got, irritation. These are all signs that she doesn't have a skin barrier. Um, so hyaluronic acid is not going to help the skin barrier too much if it's not combined with um, something that helps with the skin barrier, even triglycerides, glycerin, then it's, then it's going to actually make your skin drier over time. This amazing device that I have found, I'll show you guys. Okay, she's going to show us a device. Now she's cleaning it, she's putting it on the neck, but she didn't wash the neck. <laughs> And you want to make sure that you don't rub it in too much because then I use this solar wave okay, wand. She's got a solar it's wand. Like a it's got a red, red. It's a, it vibrates. And it's a little a red, red light, therapy. little red and LED, red I therapy, red light it therapy. Every night for about five minutes and. So I this is going to help promote collagen like synthesis. A lot of this stuff is really unproven, but it can help um, with certain kind of skin sensitivities and inflammation. Hopefully she sterilizes it before using it, but no one does. And I use this as the base. You can use other serums, but I like using the lashes. So if I start to feel dry or, or the sticks, I add a little bit more serum, but we'll start here. And then just go. I started using this during, uh, when we were all locked down during quarantine. So it's a quarantine thing that she did. Hopefully she's cleaned it since the quarantine. And I really like using it. I tried She's using the hyaluronic acid serum, serum alone. It's worth checking serum. out the Linage hyaluronic acid serum, serum to see if there's any oh, other wow. triglycerides added to it. So looking at that serum, obviously you've got some glycerin, which is good, some squalene, which is great for the skin barrier. So a lot of things there that are quite nice. Unfortunately, obviously this serum has got some fragrance and perfume. So this is probably one of the reasons why she's still got some sensitivity because she's using, she's not using fragrance free products um, and that's going to make the sensitivity a lot worse. So what she's describing about this sensitivity there, that's a hot bed of sensitivity that's sitting on the skin. And it's mainly because she keeps using things that are irritating the skin, namely skincare products with perfume. So one of the first things that she, obviously she needs to do is remove all fragrances and alcohol or denatured alcohol um, from her skincare. And she's obviously putting loads of this hyaluronic acid on thinking obviously it's moisturizes the skin, but it's creating an inflammatory process. Um, so this is one thing that she just needs to stop using. Um, and actually, the fact that she can't get rid of this, if she makes this one change alone, it's gonna transform her skin. A lot of Cassie's products from her, her skincare routine um, was my products. So my, my manic episode of skincare was also Cassie's manic episode of skincare. <laughs> All right, so once that is all done, I move on. She's gonna move on to moisturizers. So first I use Laneige's water bank. She's using the water bank blue hyaluronic this acid cream moisturizer. Everything in Albuquerque yeah. while I was filming. So I take it, rub it, and I lather all over. Literally the first time I used this, I woke up and I thought my skin was a baby's bottom. <laughs> And because everyone's skin was so dry while we were filming, I ended up getting a bunch of their moisturizers and products for the rest of the cast and in the trailer for hair and makeup. And everyone started using them and becoming addicted and I got them all hooked. <laughs> I don't know if everyone comes to me for skincare advice, but I really like it when people do because I feel like I've had such a journey with it and I've learned, hopefully I've learned, and I'm still learning so much more. So obviously this uh, hyaluronic acid cream obviously does have the fragrance in there. It's got some cool things in there to help with the skin barrier. Nothing that's gonna change the skin. It's also got silicones in there which can irritate the skin over a long period of time. So um, she just really needs to um, change using this um, and not use uh, products with fragrance in there. And pretty much with this, these sort of creams that just help the skin barrier, you can just use things like CeraVe and um, they'll do exactly the same to the skin but not irritate the skin. I was like 19, 20 years old. So after the cream moisturizer, after the cream moisturizer what does she use? Water, water sleeping mask. Sleeping so mask. Okay, so she's using the one whole range. I think that when you're using like experimental ranges, one of the things that you really want to do is sometimes not just stick 
only to one brand and, and mix, mainly made of silicones. Those are the things, there's just glycerin and silicones. Glycerin is just like an amazing ingredient for skincare and everyone just puts it up at the top of the inky list. It just makes things feel nice and helps with the skin barrier. That's pretty much all you need. <laughs> That makes sense. Um, all of the other stuff sometimes, well, some people don't really make so much difference. And in this formulation, it's exactly the same. There's a few extracts here, but again, it's you know, fragrance is quite high up on it. Um, you've also got some essential oils such as limonene, linalool, which again can sensitize the skin if left on. And this is a leave-on thing. So you, you know, especially if you've got skin sensitivity and you're leaving these products on overnight in a thick layer. This is the reason why she's got sensitivity within her skin. Um, so unfortunately, she might want to look to uh, changing the range a little bit for something that's fragrance free, silicone free, um, and essentially allergen free. Need to drink. I, and I don't know if this is right, people are probably gonna judge me, but okay, This is I the last one. Use she uses Vaseline as an under eye cream. Well, there's no surprise. But she should use it around the nasal labor fold where she's got the irritation. Look, so, if she hasn't got any uh, milia right now, and she's probably been doing this for a really long time, um, it's not a bad eye, eye cream, but it's not gonna do anything for the skin. It's not gonna help with uh, vascular flow. It's not gonna help with thickening the skin. It's not gonna help with collagen, but um, it won't harm the skin. Um, so, and obviously she has compromised skin barrier because of the makeup. Um, so this is going to help hydrate the area and it's not a bad eye cream for someone with no issues on their skin, especially with sensitive skin and, and impaired skin barriers. It's been a life changer. I don't know why, but that's mean. <laughs> and then if I have a... So if she has a pimple, let's see what she does. I have this, it's prescribed to me and I've had it for a really long time, but it's the Epo Duo Forte. Okay, so Epi Duo Forte uh, prescription gel, fantastic. It's proven uh, for, for and acne um, and breakout. Changed the game for me. So I know some people say I put all over. Especially if she's got sensitive skin. So if she follows up with something that helps with the skin barrier, that can work for her quite nicely. But most of the time, I think she's getting congestion okay. secondary to the Vaseline spreading over her face, to be honest. And then she's got a lip sleeping mask. Uh, which is great for hydrating lips. Uh, she's got a vanilla flavor there. Uh, without looking at the inky list, probably does have some form of uh, something in there. Apply to my lips. It's good to put something on her lips at night. I also. I'm really, really shocked. She didn't go for Vaseline on her lips. So I also. She's spraying perfume on. So now we know why why she's got sensitivity in skin because then she's also topping up with perfume which is probably not a good idea to spray before going to bed. All right, that's it. So this was really interesting because uh, I didn't know what to expect. I just saw this live and just reacted live to it, including like looking at all the ingredients. And we kind of diagnosed why she's been getting that sensitivity that, that never goes away around her mouth um, because she's using products and leave on products with a higher amount of silicones, fragrances, and also just spraying fragrance on. Um, she was getting some breakouts through um, a maybe overuse of Vaseline. Um, and there are a few things that she can improve, which is great, but she's definitely utilizing all the types of skincare that she can. It's good at her age range too, that she's really looking at building that skin barrier. And I think just with a nice selection of uh, more sophisticated products, maybe including some active ingredients because she's got breakouts. So thinking about things like vitamin C, um, thinking about things like uh, retinol or even bacuchiol um, are probably going to be a good option for her to take her skin to the next level. And then maybe finding some alternatives to using Vaseline around the eye area. Thank you so much. If there's any other celebrity uh, skincare routine videos you want me to react to, just let me know in the comments below. More importantly than that, just subscribe so you know all the latest videos that come out.